Welcome back, part two. In the end of part one, I left you with a sticky shock. That's been fixed, just took it back together, drop of oil, sorted the rebound out. It had absolutely no rebound in it whatsoever. I didn't say that's perfect. I've got my droop screws already set as well. Um, so the right height is pretty much done. I'll just take it off here for a second. If you can see there, it's just slightly lower at the front as it is at the back. Oh, there we go. So that's that's the droop screws in. Suspension all done. I'm happy with that. Um, the ESC and my wiring, I've just got it sat up on the top of the tray, right at the back where the uh, the spur gear is. So it's it's out the way there. Um, these mounts, by the way, uh, the front one is for the A959. So I've changed those out so it's taller. I've actually got underneath here is an A959 one, but um, I've got the extenders on. You can get them off eBay, I think they're like three, four pounds or something like that. So um, I've got those on there. The body I will be using is, and I think everybody knows what it's going to be, it's a fat body. This one's the attack shell. I've already cut it out. I was going to do a video separate on this, but i just really kind of be bothered just with this build anyways. Um, I've got a few lines on there where I want to highlight some like parts out on it. The back, I've kind of cut just a V-shape, just on the angle. The front, I haven't really took a lot out of. The nifty trick what I found actually is you can get the the one four four shell. You can, oh no, no, that's it. Oh, sorry, you stick it underneath, and it sits just inside of it. And then you can kind of add on, or just leave a little bit more of the Lexan on front and back if you want. It's just a bit of a guide. It should make cutting them out a little bit easier for you. But anyways, that's the body I'm going to use. As you can see here, the way the mounts go, it's not there. I can't imagine it to be everyone's liking. Um, but I've got it set so that extender body mount is actually in the ridge of the car. So I'll bring that up to the camera so you can see that. You can just see it there. It just squeezes in. It does bellow it out. It just blebs it out a tiny, tiny bit. But I'm not bothered with that. I'm happy with that. I've cut a, a standard body pin down. So it looks kind of like a grenade pin, I guess. And it goes through snug as a bug. Absolutely fine. So that's my setup. That's what I'll be running. I'm going to get some paint on this as well. Um, so a little look over it for you. It does fit in there. As you can see. It's a tight fit. Nice and snug. I could move this where the um, the receiver is. It's just this is where I picked as I was doing it. So we'll just go from there. Um, this will be the final part of it. So what I want to do is I want to give you like a little run of... A start like a stock basically uh, 144 and then show you what this is like so there it is that's a stock 144 that we'll all get we'll buy at first nice and squidgy so you can stand it up in the back end just wants to drop on you once you press it press it down it doesn't return all the way up you've still got to like do things with the shocks and stuff the right height on it is absolutely massive. I'll just show you that. So the stance on it is crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a battery in this for you. Give it a quick little spin so you can hear how the dog bones sound. It's the right struggle, but I'm going to try my best. I don't need a receiver for this one. I'm 
standard receiver. There it is on. I'll get it on the box actually. Because everyone has it on the box. To show you how bad the sound. Oof, that may not be tall enough. Right. Let's see how that is. So I'll just keep a hold of this. And you can see it's on. I do believe that that's it full as well. You can see them wheels wobbling. The wheels are terrible. So anyways, that's a stop button. That's what you can kind of expect. All the tire wobbles there. I haven't done anything with this one. So I'll turn that up. And then I'll put this little speed build in, and you can see how that is. I have done a little clip of this before, but I'll just do it all in one so you can see it. I still haven't changed the tray layout yet, so I've got to do that so I can fit the bigger battery in, um, well, the longer battery. And then maybe it's 3S, we'll see how 2S goes on the first run first. <laughs> but obviously, I'll be taking my time for it, I don't want to destroy it. Here's the Dumbo 6F. Same position. Is that it? We are not on. Oh, I haven't plugged them in, that's all right. So while I was sorting the wiring out, obviously I haven't plugged these in. But for your servo, it goes in one. I'll just switch this off a second. And for your ASC, it goes in two. Which is a good way to remember, is one to steer, two for the rear. So all your power comes from the ASC. And all your steering ability just comes from your little servo. So there we go, that's the beeps I wanted. Oh, so that's absolutely fine. This is with the steering mod done as well, by the way, like I said in uh, part one. So this should help as well, keep it nice and true. Nice and quiet, you can just, for me that's just the gears actually running, the dips inside the housing. So it was about half throttleish, I think there. And that's just the stock battery that comes with it, the 1500 more battery. Um, yeah, but I mean, stick with us. Uh, I hope you're liking the build so far. I hope I've tried to be informative as, as I can with it. Um, oh, in the bearings, the two the 2.5 mil wide bearings for the C-Hubs and that, they do work. That does work. So I haven't got any shims in these whatsoever. In there nice and tight. I'm happy to just leave that as is. So. so here's the body. I'm just masking parts off. Obviously I've masked the iron the entire body off. It's just the way the colours are gonna go, unfortunately. So the darkest colours first. This is it so far. You've seen it masked before. I had a little section masked off. I end up masking another section off now. So we'll be getting ready to shoot the second colour. I'm putting three on in total. But like I say, this is Fat Bodies. You should go to them. Fatbodies.co.uk Absolutely amazing shells. And um, 
it just transforms the look of the car completely so hopefully this will be some something different so here it is I've got it masked up one more time I'll turn that flash up actually let's see what happens oh, let's see if I can turn the flash up there we go well, you can't really see it in this light obviously it's night time now I'm trying to rush everything um, but this is what I've got so far the next time you see it it'll be on the call